Hey, Color Squad, welcome back to Video Sundays. Um, my new schedule just hit. So, you'll probably get a video on Sundays and another one on Thursdays. I'll try to pre film some. But as you see, today is Sight Change Day and it's Double Sight Change Day. Yay! So, my kid is happy about that. I'm kind of happy about it myself because I can get some stuff out the way and done. And I haven't done a video for you guys on my sight change. I have found out that I only like certain places for my sights. I just tried the new G6 on my stomach. You should have seen it. It was right here. I have never been able to wear any CGMs, I don't care who they are, on my stomach because of my scar tissue. Um, and plus, for some odd reason, it just didn't work on my stomach. We tried it and it aired out really bad. But this one stayed 10 days, but it was a horrible taping mess. I had a big old patch up here. It was my daughter. It was a Tegadon sandwich, a sandwich, and then some. Not sandwich, a sandwich. Oh, my God. That was like the worst. So we're going to get started. And I'm going to go ahead and um, first I'm going to do down. my Dexcom. And alcohol it down and yeah this is actually dirty and it's funny because it's weird how it's dirty because I actually took and cleaned myself this morning with a shower so I don't understand that I don't understand why those wipes are dirty like um, that, that excess quick. dirt so um, we're gonna let this cool off I mean not cool off but you know what I mean dry we're gonna let that dry yeah you're gonna see the back of my head for a couple minutes because I am trying to pull Dex stuff so um, when I say Dex stuff I mean like um, I'm trying to pull some supplies from the decks real quick. So I do apologize, but give me a hot minute here. And um, I just realized I'm missing some things that I used to put on my decks. So I'll have to put those on later. Um, I put them all in one container and I shouldn't have. So it's all good. It's in my it's in my DIY container for my room. So, uh -oh. Yeah, we will get those later. So for the decks, I like to use... Tegaderm, and I got this from Chelsea, um, who is T1D as a beach, B E A C H, on um, Instagram, and her little, little, little bitty, lovely, little bitty cutie, Coral. Love Coral to death. She's an awesome little kid. Type 1 diabetic, just like me. Um, so she told me, I told her I was breaking out again from trying to use skin tech and stuff like that. And she was like, well, just start using Tegaderm and stuff. So that's what I'm going to use right now. So, I am going to put on, I try to do that one-handed thing. And you guys know I'm pretty good at one hands. I've got this down to like a one-handed deal, especially with the G6. It's really easy. So. Yay! So, I put that down first. A uh, little crease. Who cares? Not a big deal. I always put on it um, a special kind of, oh, and actually I do have one. I carry one with me all the time, so I can just replace that one later. And this is a fix CC. This is what I put on, on on top of everything after I get it all done. So um, I've already taken out my, I'm, uh, while I'm waiting on that one, yeah, this is a little dirty. Sorry about that, guys. I guess it's not going to clean like I want it to, so I'll probably just leave it alone. Not that big deal. It, there's a film over it anyway. So I'm going to um, start this as well for my tandem pump. I give that, I don't automatically put them on. I know it's really weird, but I don't automatically stick my Dexcom on there. I give it a couple minutes before I do anything with it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this started to load in the new cartridge. And we'll do that one here after I finish this. What do you guys think of these bad boys? I wish they had a smaller applicator. That I'm, I'm a plastic person. I do not like people who use a lot of plastic. But I can kind of make an exception for this because this guy saves my life. So, here it goes. Um, there's no, I used to think there was a code on here. I guess I'm stupid because ain't no code on there. So, you know, it's all good. And um, I do have a bunch of G5s I probably should use, but I'm not going to do that right now. I got to take the code off. So, let me pull one end off. Pull the other end off. And now I'll have to do a Dexcom G5 one because I can still do it with one hand. Surprisingly, huh? you don't feel it when you use these. And this one, I try to make sure it's it's good and center. Oh, that's not... <laughs> And I stick it on. Pop the little guy off. <laughs> and it landed on my chair today. Isn't that great? Okay, so one, two, three. And we take it off. It's in, it's in. What the? In heck? my spin. You know how that goes. 
And then we slap this bad boy on there. Scary. Easy as one, two, apple PC. So, you know, we got that. We throw these in the trash. I try not to keep a lot of trash on my desk. But my desk, mind me, forgive me, because I work from home and my desk is a little junky right now. And then all I have to do is I kind of have this down to a one-handed thing too, but it may not be. So what I do is I take it and first just stick it on there and try to pull it all the way around every piece of it first and get it on there. And then I physically take and pull off the sides. So I'm going to try and see if I can just... Pull off the sides myself without my teen helping today. Why do you keep calling me a teen? Oh, I don't know why I keep calling her a teen. <laughs> She's always been my teenager. Teenager. Oh, I'm not a teen anymore, Can you? mom. Okay, yeah, we're not going to I love you, though. You want help? Um, yeah, this one you, may not be you want a, help, right? I can do it by myself. So, my teen is going to help. My daughter's going to help me today. So, she's going to pull. Pull. Ooh. a little bit over on the a little bit too far over pull push it down on there it's a little messed up folks but we're good it's all good as long as it doesn't go anywhere I don't really care well at least we got one side and then this one is, is kind of went through hell and back because of where it was setting at so it doesn't surprise me none and this one look if I push it down ahead of time, I can get it on there. So it's not perfect, but diabetes is not perfect. It's not that big of a dang old deal. So we're good. Yay. And this should stay on um, without me worrying about it too much. It should actually stay on the whole entire 10 days. So I throw this away and I throw one bottom away. We did it. And we got that done. So check this out. She's got my phone, so I can't really start my sensor yet. So I will start that off camera. Not a big deal. Um, then I pull this bad boy down. It's on. It's good to go. Like I said, I don't, I try not to put a lot of, I was using a lot of grip, grip grips, but during the summertime, my skin condition changes and I can't really like take it and put the grip grips on there too, because it doesn't hold. I don't know if that is it's kind of really weird, but we won't go there. So let's get this together. So I use either the auto C 90s, 23 inch, um, six millimeters or or the 43 inch six millimeter or nine millimeter or sometimes I use the 43 inch nine um, six millimeters as well so I usually try to open that up ahead of time before I open anything else up now we're doing my trusty x2 where are you putting it this time and my daughter's asking me the same question I'm wondering I'm probably gonna stick that on my belly fat. Yeah, we all got it. Um, <laughs> and if you ain't got it, it's because you work out like I don't even know what. I don't work out because I, I do, but I can't work out like I used to because I have a broken back and I have a piece of it um, about this long. So I have to be careful about what I do. But this, I love this company because they don't have plastic like my other company did. My other company had honking big pieces of plastic mm -hmm. for no reason whatsoever. And it wasn't any more effective than this is. So, you know, um, if you're one of those recycle, reduce, reuse people, please, uh, my daughter has actually recycled these. She's recycled these pieces. Um, she'll clean them out and then she'll use them for her art projects with um, ink and stuff. So it's like really funny. But I like the fact that they have them. Um, I have like three sets compared to what I can only carry the first time in my first bag. One set in my little bitty backpacks that I have. So I take this. I take the lid off. Then I pull it all the way down, get air in there. And I put it to the side for a second. That's a brand new one. Grab out a brand new thing. Uh, Ishwin. Ishwin. <laughs> and I can only use Amidra. Not, or Pedra. Amidra. You know I mean? it's, a, it's Amidra because it goes in Bia. So, you know, it's all good. But, um, I take it and do this. And this one's pretty warm. I don't know why, but I think our refrigerator is I just got that upstairs. out. So, I take it. I try to move it so I can do it this way. And then I push it down. And flip it over and I let it go and you're only supposed to put it in until this is what my pump person said one and a half and I try to get all the, the bubbles out of the um, syringe before I take it out and that's just to get it started and there is a freaking dang on bubble up in that bad that's a big boy bubble. and he is never in there like that so we ain't doing well today on video but you know it's all good 
We ain't. I sound like I'm so ghetto. It's just old. We are not doing well. I'm I'm ghetto ghetto BDS. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, yeah, I got jokes for days, jokes for days. So watch this. Whoop! And it always just pulls out extra insulin. So I just let it do it. Not that big of a deal because I don't. Um, I've got really good insurance, thank God, and it took me a really good job to get the really good insurance. But with the discount card for them, I actually don't pay for a ninety day supply at all, which is very, I'm very blessed. But I pay for all my other pump supplies, so and I pay co pays for all my other pump supplies, so I don't get like that until I actually. This is about the only thing I get really for free and don't have to worry about it. But I still got to work, so if I don't work, I don't get for free. So I go ahead and take it, and there's a little bitty white hole right there. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. There's a little teeny white hole right there. So I take it and stick that in there, not forcefully, but I stick it in there, um, flip it upside down, pull two times to pull the air out. And you probably don't have to pull two times. Sometimes I pull it three. Today I'll pull three. And that takes the air out because you don't want to put extra air in it. Put it to the side, and then I take and push a couple times to get the air out of that. And then I take it and stick the needle back into my actual bottle and I pull the rest out. I go 300 milliliters on this. I always pull a little bit more than 300 milliliters just because I know most of it's going to go out when I go and um, put the um, insulin through my actual inset. And I know it's funny, everybody calls them um, the... All the soft XCs or the all the soft 90s. To me, since I came from Medtronic, these are Mio's. Mio's. There's Mio's, all in ones. If I have to do a thing that's not all in one, I, I mess it up. I don't know what's wrong with my hands, but it just messes it up. I went through so many of them when I did those quick sets, it was redonkulous. So, um, right here, we take it and we physically go and push this here. Then, funny thing is, is you don't even have to really hold it. And it will, it will guide itself in there and, and, and stop when it gets to the point where you can't push it in any further. And now I just take it and slowly push it in. Push it in. And you can hear it too. It's kind of funny. It's got a little spurt sound. You can hear like a little clicks. And I don't think people have ever realized that, but I actually hear little clicks when it's filling all the way up. And one time I took a, 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 a flashlight, you guys, and I could actually see it filling up in there. It was like really cool. Drip, drip, drip. I'm like a big nerd like that. You know how it goes. <laughs> Then I take it, you don't ever release your finger, you hold it and just pull it right out. Even if you get some insulin on you, not a big deal. Insulin smells weird, but and it, it's not that big of a deal. I have to use a pizza because I'm allergic. We think I'm allergic to zinc. Or excuse me. We think I'm allergic to zinc. So we're going to do some testing this month, I think, and try to figure out if I really am allergic or not. So my daughter asked me where I'm going to put this one at. I am going to put it on my stomach today mm. just because I can. So this is alcohol. You guys wonder what I'm pushing. I'm pushing on an um, alcohol dispenser. You guys can put acetate in them to do fingernails or whatever. These are the, what I have inside of my DIY storage bins. So um, I take and, yeah, I've got fat. Everybody's got fat. Oh, well. So I take it and I'm putting it here today. So I take it and let it cool off, um, dry off. I'm sorry. And then I flip it up underneath my bra. It's kind of funny how I'm right. I flip it up. And I'm sorry, you guys, you're seeing my fat rolls, but it's all good. Look it's that, not. Fat you don't roll. have fat rolls. Everybody's not, not perfect. Know. So you got to understand, every diabetic is at a certain range. But I've actually whittled around my fat because um, I've been doing a lot of things to try to get the weight off. And it's kind of working, kind of not, because of all the steroids I have to take. So you know how that goes. Whatever. It's all good. So I take, and there's a section for the cartridge right here. I have a case on it. So I take the cartridge, flap that bad boy in there, and click it. Click, click. Click, and then pull out the extra stuff here. I'm one of those really weird people that likes to take and open this up ahead of time. Be very careful because you can pull them off. I actually pulled one off this week, and I don't know how it happened. It just automatically came off when I went to go to the end. It just pulled off by itself. I think I think the tubing was soldered, um, like pl melded to the actual plastic part that was supposed to pull off. So I take it and click it and unwrap it slowly. Mm -hmm. And this is, like I said, this is a 23-inch one. And then I take that in. It's a lure lock-in versus what the meals were. And I take it and screw it into the actual um, pump itself. Then next good thing is the startup. So I'm going to let you guys see the screen because you know how I am about that. So this still shows the information from my old um, pump site, but they were doing a new one. So 
um, we're doing this. You hit one, two, three. And this would have looked different if I had my G5 connected because it would have had the graph on there. So it tells you disconnect the infusion set from your body and press next to continue. I haven't even put the infusion set in because we're still waiting on it to dry. So you click the little lock up here, press next, and it detects the cartridge and does what it needs to do. So give it a couple seconds. It usually doesn't take that long. So I la la la. I'm just sitting here waiting <laughs> on it. And look, it's almost done. So hopefully 70 and then we'll hit 100. Yay. Okay, so cartridge changed. So then it says make sure the set is disconnected from your body and securely connected to the tubing of your cartridge. Press next to fill your tubing with insulin. So I click that. Um, start is what's going to do. For these, I think you have to go about 10 units of insulin before it fills it and a little dot will come up on the top and I always hold it up top when I do this. I click start and it says start um, starting fill. So I let it go and sometimes if you really look closely you can actually see it go in there. So this is just a waiting game unfortunately so I do apologize you guys. And I'm gonna set the pump down and let it go and I'm going to do some trash maintenance. Do, 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 As I just do, dropped do, whatever do. that was on the floor. Ha, ha, ha. Do, 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 As you do, hear do, my do, daughter do, whistling do, do, a tune to Jeopardy do, do. in the background. <laughs> well, it is a waiting game, you said. So do, she, do, she has no sense. Do, I try do, to keep do, this with all do. my supplies, you guys. It's one of the um, one of the key fobs, which I love the fact that they gave us these for the T-Slim to get that cartridge out. And then I put it back in my little bitty nifty um, on-the-go um, DIY case that I use for in the office when I'm working. And I was just lazy today. I wanted to film in here because it's just easier. Well, and you have a comfortable chair. So yeah, and I have a you know. comfy chair, so it's all good. You know. So I put everything away while I can. And then, oh, uh, it's at 13, so it's already dripping. So see what I get for not paying attention? Drip, drip. So it's all good. It's okay. Extra insulin is not going to really be that big of a deal. It's only a couple of drops here and there anyway. Okay, so I put these away, and I've gotten slick now. So if I ask my daughter to get it out and she's not <laughs> sure, oh, it fell. She so writes this up. the word I used the on word there. used on it so <laughs> she knows it's used. Because I can never tell unless I open up the boxes. See? Used. Okay, so I go ahead and I'm going to set up the other Dexcom um, in a couple minutes here. So I'll show you how you set it up. But um, that may have to be another video to post another time. And look, I go ahead and now it's telling me um, if you see drops at the end of the tubing, press done. And then if no insulin drops are noticed, please fill, um, please fill, press, excuse me, press fill to continue filling. And it says 13.5 units have gone through. So I click done. And this is the screen that shows up next after I click done. So she's looking at her phone, but I don't know if she can really see. But no, I can so see here's it. The next, here's the next screen, you guys. So at that point in time, I take, remove the bottom. And, <laughs> and my pump person said I do this kind of backwards. She's never seen anybody do it like this before. And then I take it physically, pull this in instead of taking everything off. Because I want to try to keep it as clean as possible. And that's just me. Then I go ahead and pull the little bitty um, plastic thing off on the inside. And I got to be careful because that came off yesterday all together. And then I pull the little blue piece that actually takes care of the needle and keeps you safe. And then remember I had that spot right there, you guys. So I'm going to try to stick it on the hump and not on the inside of my meat. So, you know, that goes. I know that's crazy. This is the inside of the meat. This is the hump. So, you know, we go right here. One, two, three, click. And... Ah, uh, dang, that hurt today. Ouch. So she sometimes I have some spots that really are not prone to me doing insulin in them because I've done them for so long, but I have very tender um, sides and things. That and was perfect. It's not even, it's not even um, something to do with just my body. We don't know why it does that. It's something to do with my Ehlers-Danlos that I have. So the next screen on here says um, Phil Cannula. Oh, back fill cannula my big fingers clicked the wrong one so i click next and i click start and that puts 0.5 units in and then we're done so it goes back stop filling and from here 
It tells me I have to do an every two days stop mm-hmm. site change. Mm-hmm. I have to do an every two days site change. So um, I don't know what that was difference of where I had it at, but whatever. The, the glare. Okay. Anyway, every day I have to do an every two days site change, you guys. So when I do that every two day, two day site change because of the insulin I'm using, technically speaking, a Pedra is not really licensed to be put in these pumps yet, but. That's the only type of insulin I can use, and I really wanted T Slim and wanted to get out of something that wasn't working anymore. So that's what I had to do. I don't mind because, like I said, I have a lot of insulin, and they give you ten boxes of these things. I'm sorry, I'm smacking my kid's finger because she knows she drives me nuts when she does this. So I'm slapping her finger. So I do apologize. Yes, I'm an abusive parent. No, I'm just <laughs> with you. It's all good. So um, no. Anyway, I uh physically I'm supposed to change it on Tuesday around seven a.m. I'm gonna milk that as long as I can. Um, to try to get it out as long as I can before I have to change it. So I click the word save, and then it says settings saved, and then I can click done, and then it says test BG in one to two hours, and I click resume. So we're good. So that's that one. And then um, hold on one second here. I go ahead and hook it onto my pants pocket, and I'm good on that one. And then on this one, this is the Dexcom. We're going to go ahead and set that up. And she can move closer. So I have the actual sensor in. And it says new sensor. So I click this here and this here. And the code happens to be 9117. 